Let's make a video. Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to make a short video on setting up to make a YouTube video. You can get some idea of the amount of work that goes into even just setting up. So I'm uh, in the background, you can probably hear a song by The Detonators, it's called Throttle Jockey Demon, that's what today's tutorial is going to be on. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm setting up to do, check it out. So one of the first things I do, put this light on, which was already on because the lighting's really harsh in here. I look scary under these lights regularly. I might put that light on, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna to need to put that computer on so I can print the transcription that I made yesterday. Probably gonna go through that amp, but actually, annoyingly, the amp rattles, sorry, the microphone rattles on the speaker cab because of the, the way that it sits in. It's actually not super convenient, so I may end up using that one. I love that little Supro. Actually, they're both great amps, by the way. And, and thanks to Supro, it's a it's a sort of a light endorsement. I get stuff at a, a really good deal through them because they are um, yeah. There, there's a rep that appreciated my work. Al gave me that. Thanks, Al. You're a legend. Haven't forgotten. I'll be using my Duo Jet today, so I'm obviously going to get that out, tune it up. We'll get a pedal set up the way I want my tone set up. Here's my camera. I'm going to have to put that on charge, so I'll, yeah, that will um yeah I won't be able to get to work right away. But that's okay, because it'll give me time to do the other stuff. Get, get, get out of there. Get out. Something really satisfying about when that light comes on. Okay, now I'm going to set my computer up. So I have this bag all set up. I actually keep my interface. It's just a focus, right? Nothing too special, but it does the job. You may have spied this little stool in a uh, little stool, it sounds funny. You may have spied this in videos. Um, that's I need that in here especially, just so I can run that to there and access that while I'm filming. There's the camera stand there, etc. Let's just pinch this USB attachment. I use it for this end, I use it for the camera. This in, this in here. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Computer's waking up. I actually let her have a sleep last night. Need this microphone. I actually really need to get a bigger one of these so it can come down and be maybe even above my head because it's so difficult not getting this in the way. So something, yes, I will get onto that. So I would have liked to have used my Delta King, especially for this song. It's really got the tone. But uh, I this kind of... I don't know, it's like when it vibrates, it's only touching very lightly, so it actually ruins the sound. So I need to get a little uh, stand for this as well. So yeah, it's, it's like those things you keep putting off that then bug you later. Okay, take that off there. Let's take this out. <clears throat> okay, good. To... Let's put that up there. Such a great little lamp though. Power's not on yet. That space there. Tightened up a little. Drop the chair back. It's not really that cool a chair, but it's not really on camera, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's one of my transcriptions here. I wonder what that one's of. Oh, I think that's uh, my version of uh, Only Fool Can't Help Falling in Love. All right, let's set her up. There we go. Let's wrap that around like that. There's the microphone. Front. I'm guessing that means that goes there. I've never been sure, but it sounds good, so. There we go. I don't really even understand what these do. I'll learn eventually. Maybe Austin, you can tell me. Just get this roughly in position. Um, that's, <laughs> that is, that's, yeah, that is a little mini alcohol bottle, but actually that just came in really handy for Allen keys. I barely even drink. It's just, anyway, 
Um, that can go there. So I'll print the transcription and put it here so I can, you know, make sure I'm not going over the same territory or not getting confused as to where I'm at. And of course, my Patreons get those transcriptions. Now I've got to print the transcription. So I've got to send it to myself from this one to that one to print it. And let's do that. Okay, I almost forgot opening this and doing all this and signing in and doing it. It all takes time. Browse this computer. Throttle, throttle drop. Oh, it's gone. Let's try to get throttle jockey demon. Send. Now I can print it because I just, I just haven't set that up with that. Open this one. Deal with that later. And hopefully it's arrived so I can print it. See, it's really not that exciting. <laughs> it should be okay. Print. Hopefully it works. Doesn't come out horizontal. You'd be surprised at things that happen. Please wait. I am waiting. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Oh, more. Oh, hang on. Here we go. This is the kind of stuff you get on my Patreon. You can print this for yourself. I, yeah, I still absolutely love seeing these transcriptions. Some nice work there, Paulie Bignall. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, logic, so we can capture the audio nicely. It sounds okay through the camera, but it's better if you do it this way. So there's my beginner rockabilly sessions there. Done some sessions for Derek Lee Goodread. That was the Rodney Jean Jr. one. Uh, some of the courses I've made. And I'm making a solo jazz guitar album bit by bit. I haven't given that much attention lately, but I will eventually. I think I've got two or three tracks there that'll come out one day. Uh, let's use this session. It's not. I try not to let them get too out of control, uh, but I know that the the guitar and the audio, the room mic is set up already. So we'll just jump to the finish of that, and we can just start from there. I want to make sure I arm both tracks because that's very painful when you don't do that. And we just need a plug in the second mic. There we go. Actually, I think I had it the other way around. Okay, we get the guitar and that one. Make sure 48 volts is on, or you'll really suffer with the condenser mic. Do a scratch test. See a little green bar? Yep, that's good. Scratch test here as well. Oh, you can see straight away that green bar. So that's quite quite sensitive. All right, now it's not super fun, so I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to delete the files on the camera because they're already backed up and elsewhere and uh, then we'll set the camera up. And I'm actually gonna try and fix the focus this time because that's been a real issue. All right, let's get the beast out. Hang on, we have to unlock the beast first. There we go. Okay, just stay there. I know, I know people are disapproving right now, but it's okay, it's not gonna fall over. So I'm gonna try locking the camera to the guitar because that's where the issues are with the focus. Okay, as always happens, I've stuffed around with the camera, and this is why it's been such an ongoing thing. I looked up a tutorial, and it said to go to a certain thing, and I went to the certain thing, and I went to the number on the menu, and it was a different menu. The things were different, the descriptions were different, and I was like, Ugh. So I've done a few different things to try. I've locked onto the guitar and turned off face tracking. So let's see if that helps. Cross my fingers. Okay, now let's set up the gear that I want to use. Um, so I want to use this because uh, I'm pretty sure Paulie Bignall, he loves old tape stuff. I don't have any actual old tape stuff, so I'm going to go with this tape emulation and try and dial in that tone. So we'll have a quick look at that as well. Okay, we want the tweed uh, lead thingy. What do you call it? You know what they're called. Patch lead, because that sounds more old school. I'm just kidding. It makes no difference to the tone. All right, let's just, uh, so I've got a power supply, a multi-power supply and all that stuff, but that's just going to be easy for now. I did bring my pedals, but um, I've been having issues with the ISO brick or something cutting in and out, so I'm just going to keep it really simple. 
I did bring. Hang on a second. Right. Oh, I brought these. So I'll just sort something out for that. grey lead mark there for making videos but I can go a little louder these days because I've got slightly a slightly better setup with this just turn the light so it faces towards all the gear a little better and we're nearly good to go pretty much just got to plug the guitar in it's really hard to do with one hand if you're not holding the guitar. Oh, look at that flickering. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready to go. You can see, even just getting this set up, I have lessons later, so it's all gotta be packed up as well. It's really quite a slog. The only other thing I've gotta do is really, let's have it, let's dial in the guitar tone. Now this, this really is all you need for a great, great sound. Um, just a delay pedal and a bit of overdrive into a good little amp. Just make sure my volumes are up. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put the tone up pretty high because it's a fairly, not bright, but it's a sort of punchy in the up end, upper end tone. Gonna... I'm pretty happy with that. There's so much of it's in their hands as well. Like I feel like the way you attack really makes a big difference. So it often doesn't take me long to get what I think is close to the tone. Okay, we, oh, that sounds great. That sounds really, really good, but we just want to pull that time right in. Man, that sounds great. We'll bring back the repeats. We don't need that many repeats. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm gonna bring the tape age up a little. Wound wow, flutter down. I don't like too much of that myself. And I think that mix is good. We actually need a little more drive, surprisingly. Is a cool guitar tone. Yeah, I'm in love. Let's get started. So that's it. That's everything that goes into uh, making these tutorials just to setting up. So, you know, uh, if you want to do it yourself, you've probably got a better idea now. But my advice is make content that you enjoy, that you would like, that you wish maybe you had once upon a time or you wish was out there now. You know, make stuff kind of for yourself. Um, not that I'm the most successful YouTuber, but it's certainly going okay. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Now go check out the actual tutorial that I make off the back of this.